nhóm mẹ rong phay đài nó kêu về nó không về bạ khăn ông luôn về nhóm mẹ rong phay đài đài đó nó hơi như thế thầm mẹ đã từ tập bẹt đã bẹt đã lư tập bẹt máu nhóm ôi mẹ do từ môn tới trăm nhóm mau tạm cào nhóm nơi phổi phải nó Initially, the aim for Project Batambong was to run health clinics and health screening for uh, the area of Hoi Pet. On a typical day, we will see about uh, 120 adults and about 180 children. In terms of our team, we are made up of 25 medical students from NUS. Uh, this time around, we have four doctors with us. We also have volunteers from Phnom Penh. So the bump on his head is likely to be a collection of pus due to an infection and that is causing him a lot of pain so we had to drain it. <coughs> At first when the blade started its first you know, CM of cut, the baby was really, really, really a lot, in a lot of pain. But Dr. Ong, you know, his hands were steady, he was steady and he knew what he was doing and he knew that it was for the good of the child and it had to be done. In the city of Poi Pet, a lot of the locals here may be internal migrants. Because of the poverty that is uh, present here. A lot of people are not able to afford even the, the transportation cost to the hospitals. Many of them earn less than one US dollar a day and that really makes it difficult for them to seek health care. So when we come along um, once a year or twice a year and we bring along these doctors with us as well as medical students are able to to, to screen them for, for certain illnesses, one pertinent problem out. I guess we will always face this. Um, there's so much people that come to our screening stations. I remember uh, one particular in the incident in the second year trip. I had the very unfortunate task of actually turning down a few people um, from, from the screening process and I couldn't help but feel uh, very sad because these people had come a long way just to get themselves screened and to be told by a 22-year-old boy that, that no, you cannot be screened because we just have too many people. I mean, it's really hard for them to take. Because of all these challenges, we have recognised that education is actually very, very important. There's this additional part about our programme where we go to the villages and we speak to them. This helps us to gather local data to understand what are the problems that they have. We don't want to be a kind of intervention, like you go in and you do something, but we really want to know what help is needed. So we actually try to find out using our survey com um, what the people actually not know or what do they need and so we work from there. We really want to make ourselves obsolete in that environment. So something that our project really aims to do is about building their own leaders. So that is why we fund the scholars and the people who have the same idea as us. I like to study. My future, I want to be the IT man. So I like I go. I must go to school for study. If I don't have the scholarship, maybe I'm not sure I can go or not. But I very thank you for give the scholarship for me. Can push me to university. Project Bantabang is really fortunate to have a guy like Chenda on board in our project because he's always there when we come back. Not only helping us when we do our screening process by translating for us, he's also and inspiration to all the other scholars within our project. Because when they see Chanda, they see someone who has been through many years in the project and can see that with hard work and with enough persistence, he, they also can go on to uh, achieve uh, their dreams like Chanda. So that's why Project Batamang for me is it's all about family. I love the people who are involved in the project. I love the people who we see over there in Cambodia. So that's why I describe it as, as family because uh, these are the bonds that we've developed so far in the course of the project. And though our help is limited and uh, in 
a lot of ways, but it's really spontaneous and from the heart. It's unconditional, just like love for your family. I think the most important thing that we bring is not so much the, the medications, the, the health care, but really the sincerity of heart to, to love and care for the people here. And to show them that in spite of us being so far away from them, we bother to come here, try to understand their needs and hopefully to make a difference in their lives. I think it's important that we continue to collaborate with the locals. In the long run, we hope that they will have no need for us in the future.